Hi guys, it's Melissa, College Fashionistas Program Director. I'm here with Risa Lake. She is the Partner and Executive Vice President of Partnerships at Digital Brand Architects which represents so many of the greatest influencers. And today we're gonna to talk about the business of blogging. We have some a couple questions from our community. So the first one is, what are the best ways for up and coming influencers to grow their reach and establish their credibility? Um, growing their reach is definitely starting with the content and posting consistently, tagging brands, um, using hashtags that will help your content show up within the new hashtag, hashtag search on Instagram, and then also collaborating. Like Even our established clients right now, one of the biggest ways that they help grow their audience and kind of cross-pollinate audiences is to collaborate with each other. So whether it's doing you know a shoot together with your friend who's also a blogger or trying to go into, I don't know if it's a boutique in like your town where you're going to school or where you live and saying, I'm an influencer, I'd love to take some pictures, you know, inside your boutique or, you know, provide styling tips. How can you use your community and your network and whether that's other influencers or friends or stores to help collaborate, to get their audience, um, get your audience excited that you're doing something else um, and just fully committing time and energy and resources to doing it if it's something that you want to do. So what do you look for when you are um, considering new clients to bring on to your roster? Yeah, so at DBA, we've definitely evolved in the types of clients that we manage. Um, when we first started, the agency was really heavy in fashion and beauty, so we work with some of the top influencers in those areas, like Camila Coelho, who has seven million followers on YouTube, Amy Song, Brooklyn Blonde, Something Navy, Natalie Suarez, so all of these women who are, are very established in fashion and beauty. Um, and we've now expanded into home, decor, interior design, which has been exciting to see talent kind of take on different types of partnerships so for us it's about looking at somebody who is doing something different who has really beautiful content and who we know we're going to be able to help build a brand offline so again it's not just about the sponsored Instagram and the banner ad it's really who do we believe that has extensions of their business and their brand off of digital so when we're talking to new talent we're already thinking is there a product line like do we see your collection in Nordstrom are you writing a cookbook are you are you, are you gonna be in a television show it's like we look at what those extensions are for talent and also people who are doing really different things and somebody who may have a niche that our other clients don't talk to what skills have been vital to your success um positivity um commitment and just wanting to succeed and be a good person while doing it. This morning I've had two massive fire drills that I am managing and trying to figure out. Meanwhile, I'm here doing this interview and you would have had no idea that that was no. happening. But really trying to put out those fires by coming up with a solution and anytime that we have problems or issues whether it's you know with a client or with a talent like the first thing I say is hey guys we understand that there's a problem we're here to find a solution let's do it together like I'm confident that we can find a solution and we we always do and I think that being a good person along with it you can be successful you can be strong you can be respected but to be a nice person whether that's supporting your team and and you know understanding when they're having a rough day and how can you step in and help them, um, it, go, it goes a long way. So what excites you most about your job? That every day is different and that we're at the forefront of, of one of the fastest growing industries and that DBA has built this roster and continues to evolve and launch new divisions of our company. We launched a product and licensing division of our company uh, about three years ago. By the end of the year, we'll probably have six collections in Nordstrom. We launched a podcast company three months ago. So it's oh always gosh. evolving and every day is something new where again, it's not monotonous, monotonous and I get to have my hands on a little bit of everything. And what's the biggest thing you've learned in your role? That you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, growing a business is extremely hard and you can't make everybody happy and you have to grow a team around you. One of my biggest challenges as you know I've grown a DBA and I've built a team and I've started a new team and I've built a new team is understanding that you don't have to do everything to be successful and that you can build a team that can help you do things. I used to feel like I had to do the deal, send out the invoice, manage, manage the program, and I've realized that my skills are better set um, if I'm focusing on things that will better the agency as a whole instead of getting 
caught in the minutia of like updating a database. And that can be really challenging because you start to wonder like, I'm not doing everything I used to do. Am I as good as I am I as good as I was before? But building a team and also you have work-life balance. It's really important to be able to leave the office and go and do a workout class or go home and make dinner for my husband and my son. Like it's really important to have that balance and unless you build a team and unless you have people around you that you trust, it's impossible. And then the final thing is what would you tell your college self now? I would tell my college self that no answer doesn't mean no. Don't be scared to ask for what you want and be comfortable with being uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great place to end. Yeah. Yes, being comfortable in the uncomfortable is how I think most successful business entrepreneurs and amazing um, influential people in the industry get to where they are. So I want to thank Risa for joining thank you. us. And you guys, if you have any questions um, for Risa about the industry or you know what it's like to be an influencer, be sure to email us at membership at collegefashionista.com. And we will see you soon. Thanks guys. Bye.